when I'm climbing, I feel, I feel peaceful. I'm either in a space with someone I really enjoy being with, or I'm in a space where I can truly be by myself and recharge. I'm not thinking about anything. My body knows what to do. I fall a lot. <laughs> I fall often. <laughs> My name is Michelle Lloyd Dedeshu, and I'm the founder of The Climbing Connection. Yeah, 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 come on. come on. The Climbing Connection's mission is to use climbing as a medium to define and challenge limiting beliefs. It's an amazing space to explore that. And then try and sink down, good, so all the weight's there. What climbing allows us to do is through a really playful avenue, understand how to try hard, how to be uncomfortable, how to make a plan, and how to execute and then what to do if the execution doesn't work. How do you stand back up? How do you reapproach? How do you figure out the nuances with your execution to refine it and eventually get to the point where you're successful? And you do it so much through climbing that it starts to bleed into your everyday life. Good. Get full press out of the front leg. I'm hoping to crowdfund $15,000 and what this will go towards is equipment, so enough equipment to take groups out, um, a year's worth of guiding insurance, the legal fees associated with that. Good. Does somebody else want to go on this side? Um, the legal fees associated with putting this method together. Good job. Creating something that uh, a variety of gyms and schools can use. They'll give you a drill to do on the vert wall. You'll do that, then you'll move over this one, then you'll move over to this one, then you'll rest. And I'm really excited to be able to work with communities who don't necessarily initially have the socioeconomic means, perhaps, to access this, or maybe wouldn't, wouldn't think of climbing as like, oh, this could be a really good way to do it. Sink, stand, twist. Yeah, very good. Climb is built on 90% failure. You go out and you climb and you fall and you climb and you fall and you climb and you fall, and then everything comes together and you actually finish the climb eventually. And then there's another climb you want to do. So. The goal is not getting to the top. Getting to the top is great and it's an important part of the process. But that's not actually where you do the growth, it's not actually where you learn. And eventually the hope is people are able to start letting go of some of those things and then move the bar up a little bit higher. So there's always something that comes out of it and that's what I want the climbing connection to be.